Ready. Look here. Go away, can't you see? Look at you, mama. Go away, go away, can't you see? Cause she don't love me. She don't love me like. I was in the prosecutor's office in Boone County and I encountered Hassel when he had some minor scrapes with the law and me, I was always interested in Hassel because he seemed very pleasant and really bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, a different sort of person so I asked around about Hassel and I was immediately inundated with Hassel Agon stories. He was something of a, of a local phenomenon, a local legend. He was viewed as extraordinarily eccentric. The first time I met Hassel, I got a call from the, the U.S. magistrate. Hassel had been indicted in the Southern District of West Virginia Federal Court for uh, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And uh, the magistrate called me and told me that he had a case for me, and I said I was too busy to do it. He told me that I was... Uh, being called upon to represent a guy who lived in a $40 a month shack in Boone County, West Virginia, but who was a rock star in Europe. And I immediately assumed that the guy was crazy. And, it, and so I said, well, you're exactly right, Your Honor. This man needs... Yeah, I love you, Mama. Blood, you know. Jesus Christ, he walked in with four albums that had all been done in Europe in the last year. And uh, it was wild. I mean, and all these fan letters from all over the world with uh, checks in them for pictures of him and autographs and stuff, joining the Hassel Atkins fan club. 